Okay, next we're going to get uh, revenue retention. And then we're going to convert a revenue retention chart into uh, an analogous chart for cumulative spend uh, as a function of a particular cohort's lifetime. So the first thing that we need to do is get the number of days and then the number of months uh, since a particular purchase was made from that customer's birthday. So it'll be clear what I mean uh, in just a moment. This is basically the number of days since acquisition when a purchase was made. And that is going to be basically the difference between the order date and the birthday for that customer. So, you know, for example, for this customer, this purchase was made on February 16th. They were born January 5th. So there's a 42 day difference between the two. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the number of months since acquisition rounded up. So to do that, we just go round up. We divide this by 30.3. And this gives us the rounded up number of months uh, since acquisition when particular orders were placed. So if the order was placed on the customer's birthday, it was the order that birthed them, then this would be zero. Otherwise, it's going to be something greater than zero. So for example, you know, for these two purchases, we can see that the customer was born on June 24th, uh, but they purchased on July 11th and, and July 19th. Those are both within the next month, uh, hence the, the ones over here. So this, this all checks out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a pivot table put our new table and what we want to see is for each cohort we want to see the revenue as a percent of the month zero revenue for that uh, that particular cohort so we're going to go put birthday down over here and for the columns, this is now going to be the number of months since acquisition, rounded up. And we're going to show the sum of sales over those periods of time. So we go over here, like before, we're going to first uh, expand the field. We're then going to make the months tabular and the years tabular. Like so. so. This is showing us for every cohort the amount of revenue that was generated by that cohort as a function of the number of months since that cohort was acquired. So I'm just going to copy and paste all this data over here. All the way down. Like so. fill in the rest of this chart area add plus one carry that down as before we're going to get a month number one up to twelve and then repeat go. We get our acquisition month. So these are basically the acquisition cohorts. This is just going to be date, year, month, and just put in a one for the day. <coughs> like before, we're going to change the date format to just show the month and the year. this out. So I'm going to copy and paste these values so we don't need to worry about losing those cells. I'm going to delete that, put this over here, and now I'm just going to convert this into 
the sales uh, each month after acquisition. So this is again, this is months since acquisition. But what we want is we want to show uh, revenue each different period as a percentage of the uh, the initial revenue that we got in month zero for that cohort. So we're going to take this matrix and I'm just going to copy and paste this and then just kind of refer back to the cells. So again each month we want is to express the sales in that month as a percent of the month zero sales for that cohort. So this will keep uh, that denominator in month zero, but it's going to allow the cohort to change. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do one other final thing. We see that there's a lot of cells over here where they are that are empty. And that could be an issue with plotting. Because when you plot data, uh, oftentimes that'll show up as uh, as a blank and go down to zero when we're working with cells over here. So I'm going to say if is blank that hash and a otherwise give us that desired quantity. So what it's going to do is, as we're going to see in just a second. It's going to give us the numbers that we're hoping for <coughs> uh, in the periods where we do have data, but in the periods where there is no data, basically sales went down to zero, it's going to put an NA. And the nice thing about that is when I then go to uh, insert the chart, this is going to be a line chart. What's this one over here? this down over here. Pull these up over here. Just format the axis to start at one. Pull this down. Let's give ourselves axis titles because now we kind of need them. So this is again months since acquisition. on the left over here, this is revenue uh, as a percentage of the initial revenue. I'm just going to leave it like that. And so what this is showing us is revenue retention, which is equal to uh, revenue uh, by month since acquisition for each cohort as a percentage of month zero revenue. That's what this chart is. So this is the resulting figure.